I look forward to hearing from Rear Admiral Howard as she discusses women and minorities in today's U.S. Navy. Please join me in welcoming, welcoming to NSU Rear Admiral Michelle Howard. It isn't enough for whims. It's, it's non-traditional roles are defined by Department of Labor where there are less than 25% women in the community. You have to keep a sense of humor. You have to develop stamina because there's going to be tough days. You have to, like the pioneering women of old, you have to let some things go. That when you're making a pioneering journey, they were tossing out clocks and pianos. Okay, well, when you're making a pioneer journey, you start tossing out the mental baggage. Because you don't have time for it. Let, it. let it go. And then the most important role is you have to stay connected to other people who look like you. So if you are a minority and you are going into a profession where there's only ones or twos of you, you had I don't care if you like them or not, you better look up. <laughs> it's just like your old witch, you just ride over there. <laughs> have a little crib with me, have some chat, get all energized again, and ride back to your part of the world. But you've got to stay connected with people who look like you. Because it can be scary going into an environment where no one looks like you. And I have been in rooms where I am the only woman and the only minority. And I don't necessarily have to be the mentor. But as a leader, I'm obligated to find them a mentor. So I had a young lady who was a surface warfare officer, kind of knew she wanted to be in medicine, but wasn't sure. So I hooked her up with a doctor who'd been a clinical physician on his own for 15 years and then came in the Navy and served with Marines and sailors. And she went and started, theoretically, it was a one-hour lunch. Four hours later, she knew what she wanted to do. So I think we just have to, the answer is we have to get them into a framework where they can figure it out. So leadership isn't necessarily about not showing that you sweat. Leadership is about being the best of who you can be. And if you're naturally more open, talking about where you are, where you're going, then leverage, leverage that communication strength. I was I uh, asked to speak to a Navy information cell for Women's History Month, and one of their first questions was, why on earth would you have come into the Navy when you did, when you look at all the challenges that were for women? So I'm filling out my forms in 76 and 77, so when I spoke to that group, I said, let me ask you some questions. Were there any women Supreme Court justices when I was filling out my application form for Annapolis? What was the average pay on the dollar for women when I was applying to an address? It's like 45 cents on the dollar. So the, the Navy was an opportunity that, of e equal opportunity beyond, I think, what I could have done going at most women were secretaries. When we got on, on the beach on Indonesia the uh, first day, we, the um, um, Marine Expedition Unit Colonel and I uh, went into Malaba to go negotiate with the uh, local Indonesian military leader. And then uh, we walked through what we could provide. On the way back, we toured one of the uh, dis uh, dislocation camps that had popped up. There was this young boy, we're in uniform, but there's this young boy who just came running up and broke through the ring of adults to shake our hands. And he had the biggest smile on his face. And you could tell he was just truly happy that someone had come from far away to help. And I will never forget the look on his face. <laughs>